I've used Artlist's new AI features on my latest projects for Ford, Radisson and my own social media channels. Today I want to show you how I did it and how you can do it by yourself. If you aren't subscribed yet, you can even find a link in the description where you can get an additional month on Artlist for free. So let's go to artlist.io and start creating. If you go to the style catalog, you can find different styles from hyper-realistic to playful 3D and storyboarding, which we're going to use right now. You can select the style and you can also explore it. And there you can see some examples of how this can be used. We go to the text prompt and there I can describe what I want to have. For example, I want to create a storyboard for my next Ford social media reel. And now you've got several options to even get a better result. First of all, what's super helpful is you can use different languages. So let's just remove this text and I will write the exact context in German. I put it in German and now we can enhance the text with just one click. You can see that it adds way more details to our prompt <laughs> really way more details. Now we have to decide do we want a landscape, a portrait or a square image and how many image variations we want. If we choose more, the generation is more expensive, but I just want one for the beginning and I want it to be in portrait mode, which is going to be the real format and click generate. In the meantime, we can see what I did before. I was just entering an image and trying to make a video out of it and you see Always the first seconds are really nice. There was this drone floating in the air and by now our image should be finished and look at this. Creating images like this would take hours without this AI feature from Artlist. And it looks beautiful. It's funny to see how much it really looks like an electric car and this definitely could be Berlin. We just have to change one detail because the car is just standing on the street without a real parking spot. So. That's how we can refine our prompt to have it parked in a real parking spot. In a parking spot. Now that looks beautiful. It's exactly what I imagined. The modern architecture in the background and right here we have a parking spot where the electric car is parked. I just want to change one thing and this is where we're going to use the image to image generator of Artlist. By clicking transform image. Now we are here and what I want to remove are the trees. Actually, it's a great fit for electric cars for sure, but I want it to be in a really architectural street. So remove the trees from this image. And now let's see how that works. Cool. Actually, it did exactly what we wanted to. It removed the trees, but what would be even better would be to have more architecture in the background. So again, but make sure there is more modern architecture in the background. Storyboarding style as before. Yes, I think that's better. And for our storyboarding, that's more than enough. And we can upscale it to time so it would be even bigger than FHD. But that's fine for us. We just want to animate it, which brings us to the third feature. That's new. We even have a suggested prompt for this picture. Okay, that's a lot. That's a really long feature. I don't even want so much. Actually, let's just try this prompt right there. It's not what I had in mind. So let's see, duration, five seconds, resolution. HD is fine because we can upscale it later on. Let's just animate it. And therefore Artlist not only plans the shot, but also the whole camera movement for us. Let's see if it actually looks good. All right, it's just a zoom in, but it already detected that there's a street in the background and cars are moving. Now let's try the shot I actually had in mind. I want to have a zoom in or actually let's say dolly in. So it's more 3D. Dolly in and orbit the car. That's all I need. The generation is finished and now let's just have a look. That worked great. It's an orbit. It also detected the architecture and everything is 3D. Look at the car. It stays in the middle. This goes out slower, so it's really closer. That's a really great result with 
like four or five videos, you can describe your storyboard and your vision behind your project so much easier. So your pitch, your treatment, everything will be leveled up just with this feature. And currently it's HD, but you can upscale it to up to 4K with Artlist. So for your storyboards, this might be enough, but if you really want to use it on social media, FHD or 4K could be even better. With just one click, you can download it and save it to your files, place it in your treatment, and wherever you need it. This already was a lot, but there's even more to it. We have the AI VoiceOver V2 model. The first model already worked great. And now we have improvement in the quality of the sound, the clarity is enhanced, and we now have up to 21 languages we can choose from. So let's stick with English for now. You can even choose an accent, the speed, set the mood of your VoiceOver, and an effect, which is new as well like walkie-talkie vintage radio, and that's crazy. Now, our first step is to choose a style. The rules are pretty clear. No distractions, no drama, and definitely no dating your coworkers. Let's scroll down until we see persuasion. At our restaurant, the vibes rule and taste buds drool. I really like this because it's uplifting, it's clearly, and powerful. So we select it and now we will enter your text. Let's just go with this text, which I've used for a recent video. This is how you could spend your next 24 hours in Berlin. We have English, American, the speed is at one. And for the mood, I want to choose optimistic to make it even more uplifting. Generated only five credits and it's done. Let's see. This is how you could spend your next 24 hours in Berlin. If this doesn't sound optimistic, I don't know. What does? We can also choose best fit. Let's just go with it. I haven't used this one yet. This is how you could spend your next 24 hours in Berlin. I want to have it a bit faster. 1.1 speed. Let's try again. This is how you could spend your next 24 hours in Berlin. Awesome. We could make it even faster or slower, but I feel like this is the perfect speed. And now there's a new feature which didn't exist before, voice to voice. So you can upload an original voice recording of yourself and then go to the voice catalog, choose a style, and then your uploaded recording will be changed to this style. So you could not only input a text prompt, but also the whole voice recording, which means the pacing, the exact words and the breath takes and just silences in between will be capped. So you perfectly match the speed of your current video edit. Let's try it out. I currently have some voice recordings of my drone courses. Let's go for this one. It should be smaller than 30 megabytes, which usually is the case. I just have really long recordings in 32 bits, which takes lots of space. Let's just listen to this one. There are four crucial steps you need to follow before flying for the first time. Okay, we just take this. And now for the effect, we can also choose a vintage radio, walkie talkie or something like this, but let's go through the voice catalog. Here's to the bold souls, the dreamers. That's really motivating. I want something that is motivating, but still sounds what natural. In the crucible of dedication lies the essence of greatness. Okay, I want to try this. This sounds exciting. Uh, let's just generate it. It's ready. Okay, let's go right into it. First, you need to make sure to follow the regulations and check if you need a license to fly your drone. There are some drone apps which I'll link down below. They will help you to figure out if and where you're allowed to fly your drone. Okay, this is crazy. This sounds so realistic. From my voice input, it really keeps the pacing, which is perfect if I uh, just want to have myself as an avatar but replace the voice. Imagine seeing me like this. Right now I'm talking with my normal voice. But now it switches to completely different points, but the pacing will stay the same because I will upload this audio file to Artlist, to voice to voice. And I'll even be a person speaking. How is that working? This sounds really realistic. And I would say the new V2 model changed a lot. Also, I just saw you can't only choose 21 languages now. It now supports 23 languages in up to eight different emotions. The last thing I want to try is an effect. How good does it actually sound? I could imagine Pro it's Studio. It's one thing to be part. 
would be a really good choice here. Maybe at 80%, let's do it. Generate again, because I'm actually in a studio or I was in a studio and I was filming it. Make sure to follow the step because sometimes, you make sure to follow the step because you can sometimes the obstacle sensors of your drone can't recognize those thin objects. You can really transform the whole texture, the whole tone of your voice. Make sure to check it out with a link in the description. Chances are high that your language is currently supported. And of course, if you choose a language like German, you can also input your text in German. So könntest du deine nächsten 24 Stunden in Berlin verbringen. So again, let's go. No, let's go without any effect here. Here's to the bold souls. And we go for persuasion again. It was somewhere down here. Select and go. So könntest du deine nächsten 24 Stunden in Berlin verbringen. So you see, it even works in German really well and probably in up to 22 other languages as well. You can find all the details down in the description and I can't wait to see what you do with it.